Hi everyone, my name is David and I'm here today to present you my framework design for application of the sustainability principles to EIA. Aims and methodology. We've been given the task of designing a sustainability oriented framework or methodology to enhance EIA and apply it to a project proposal of our choice. The framework should be developed with knowledge of the case studies background as sustainability is context dependent. Our framework will be developed drawing on impact assessment literature, government publications and websites. A selected case study is a proposal for construction, operation and maintenance of the Keen Road Strategic Link, a 1.5 long single carriageway in Forestdale, Western Australia. The main issue is that the proposal is located within a bush forever site. Bush forever sites are sites that belong to a program that was first adopted in 2000 to provide comprehensive reserve system for conservation of fragile landscapes in WA. The area also qualifies as significant natural area according to the EPA. The area also contains one of the largest remaining areas of damp lands and the largest consolidated area of southern river vegetation in the Perth metropolitan region. Framing. Before we go anywhere and start designing our framework, we should begin by answering the following crucial question. What are we trying to sustain? The aim of the assessment is to conserve, maintain the bush for riverside freefold. This is due to its amazing natural properties. For whom? Here, the stakeholders are numerous. They include, but are not limited, to future generations, residents, visitors, drivers, workers, the fauna and the flora. Over which time frame? The bush forever name implies that this site has to be maintained for forever, or as long as possible. Identifying objectives. The objective of sustainability when assessing the proposal will be the maximization of positive outcomes for the free builders economy, social and environmental. When looking at the economy, we expect the proponent to appropriately demonstrate significant economic gains from the proposal. When looking at the social, we'll be trying to achieve inter- and intragenerational equity. We're going to assess the proposal against models from Lamorgis and Genelity's criteria of equity, as well as the Oak Research Institute conditions for sustainability. On the environmental side, we are trying to achieve a net gain for the environment with use of mitigation tools such as offset. Considering alternatives. According to Gibson, consideration of alternatives is central to maximizing sustainability outcomes. Our proposal will be assessed against the framework for alternatives proposed by the Office of the Environmental Protection Authority. Mitigation. The construction of a road within a nature reserve cannot happen without negative effect. Therefore, we're going to try to minimize those using offsets or reducing, rectifying, minimizing, avoiding or enhancing. We're going to assess our proposal against the model proposed by Bond, Morrison, Saunders and Owen. Trade-offs. According to Morrison and Pope, sustainability assessment calls for an explicit examination of trade-offs both during development and approval. Even if they should be minimized or avoided, it is recognized that some projects may have an adverse impact on some sustainability principle and that some trade-offs are inevitable. Therefore, we're going to assess our proposal against Gibson's six trade-off rules. These were the main considerations for this framework of sustainability assessment that we're going to apply to our proposal. Thank you very much for listening.